Okay, so what we want to do is create a terrain. We're on the terrain. We're going to add some trees. We're going to add some grass. Uh, we're going to texture the terrain, basically paint the terrain. And then we're also going to add a model to the terrain and a first-person controller so we can walk around the terrain. And then we'll get, go into the game mode uh, so that we're, you know, so that you would experience what the a player would experience on there. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So to um, start off, I'll go ahead and start off with the terrain. I'm uh, going to select in my hierarchy window, right mouse click, and I'm going to go to going to go to 3D object, down to terrain, and my terrain gets created, right? So, but I want I want to make some modifications here. So I'm going to go over to my settings. Now I'm going to I'm going to change my terrain a bit here so that it's not so large. It's very large in terms of modifying this terrain. So what I'm going to do for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to make this terrain a little smaller. So I'm going to change the terrain width to 50 50 units and then uh, the terrain height to 60 units. Okay. Now now that I've changed the terrain, uh, all I have to do is, you know, hit tab in each one of them, and it'll change the terrain size. And then I'm going to click on my paintbrush. Now, here's the thing that I mentioned before. So if I start raising the terrain, let me double click on the terrain here. Re remember that if I raise my terrain, I can easily do that by just clicking on, you know, again, changing my menu here, and I can raise it. But if I want to lower it, uh, anything I've raised, all I have to do is hold on the shift key, and I, I can lower it. But also, but if I want to lower my train beyond, oops, beyond what I have here, and I try to lower it by holding down the shift key, which that's what would, it would, you need, would need to do, is to hold the shift key to lower the train, you'll notice that I can't. I can lower anything that I've raised, but I can't lower the terrain more, like to make a like a hole or a lake bed or something in the in the terrain. So before I do that, now before you go ahead, I should say before you go ahead and raise your terrain all over the place, then you realize you need to make a hole or something, you know, lower the terrain some uh, somehow. Um, you know, don't raise all the terrain and then then think, okay, I need to lower the terrain because then what's going to happen is this. In order to be able to do that, we need to go to set height to be able to lower our terrain. And we'll need to flatten it out. Okay, so right here we're with under set height. Remember, we're in raise or lower terrain where you've selected set height. And then I'm gonna change this to height to 30. So when I change it to 30, and the reason I changed it to 30 is because remember I raised, I, um, I made the height of the terrain 60 units. So I'm gonna go half of that, and then I'm gonna click flatten. So when you do that, if you raise the terrain, you'll notice that, okay, it disappeared, but it's, there it is. You'll notice that it's flattened everything out. So all that work you've done will, you know, will, you'll have lost it, basically. So first, Flatten the terrain, decide uh, by how many units you want to flatten it, then click on flatten, and then, then you can go into your terrain. And by the way, I'm using I'm pushing down on the uh, wheel here to do, go to my pan tool. Now if I raise it, let me change this back, I can raise my terrain. Now you'll notice when I lower it, I can do that. When I hold it on the shift key, Hold the shift key and then use the left mouse button and I can lower my terrain. Okay. Now, let me undo that. Okay, so basically just keep that in mind. All right. Okay, so now what I'll do is, you know, just kind of play with the terrain a little bit before um, I texture it just to give it an idea. Or what I kind of want to look like. Now again, I'm going to go pretty fast in terms of just um, making our terrain here. 
So the first thing in terms of uh, raising lower terrain, I'm going to make my brush size, notice how big it is. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and change the opacity also. If I change the opacity, uh, it won't raise as, as much. Okay, so notice now my brush is a little smaller. I'm going to increase that a little bit here. I'm just going to click on and just raise the terrain a little bit here, a little bit there. I'm going to hold down the middle or the mouse uh, the wheel to get my panning tool, hold on the shift, lower my terrain a little bit, which I'll make that into a lake bed. Okay. And so again, I have my different mounts. Uh, keep in mind that if you choose different tools, you get some nice mountain ranges. So de depending on the different brushes. Okay. All right, so now what I want to do is texture my terrain. Now to do that, we need to uh, go to the our, uh, still be in our paint tool. So um, I'm going to now paint my uh, terrain. So I will change it from raise and lower terrain to paint texture. Basically, I'm going to texture my terrain. To do that, I need to add the texture. So I'm going to click on Edit Texture Lane, Create Layer, and I'm going to look for a texture. Now, I don't have any texture here, so what I'm going to do is normally what you want to, you can go to the Asset Store and type in Standard Assets. And it's free. You can download this package. So you would click on Download. You have to be signed in, so then you would sign in, and then you would be able to download the package. And I've already downloaded it. Okay, so I'm going to go to, I'm going to import that package. So I'm going to right mouse click on Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. And there's my standard Unity package. So this is what you would get when you would download it. I click open and I'm going to go ahead and import what we're looking for specifically I don't need 2d objects I don't need um, the vehicles model but those are some of the things that come with it you can download that and just play with that if you want to but for now basically uh, I'm just gonna down you know uncheck some of those things and I'll go ahead and import everything else. Okay. I just don't want my file to be so large with downloading or, or importing, you know, 3D vehicles and things that I'm not going to use for, for now. So, and I want to show you how to import other 3D objects from the internet or the asset store. So, but basically you saw that we can import packages from the asset store and we can also import uh, 3D models from the asset store. But if we don't have them, then I'll show you a website where we can. Okay. So now uh, I have the standard assets imported and I should have within there some materials, some textures and things that I can use in terms of my terrain. So again, I'll go back to paint texture. Then I'm going to click on edit terrain layers. I'm going to I'm going to create layers. And now notice I have some more textures that I can use. Specifically, I'm going to look for uh, grass texture. So keep in mind that whatever texture you choose first is what's going to cover your whole terrain and then you can paint over that. So in this case I'm going to choose the uh, grass rocky albedo terrain. Okay and notice right away it is cover that. When I zoom in you get a better idea what that looks like. And by by the way to zoom in I'm using the wheels to zoom in and out. Okay. All right so now um, I want to just paint a little bit of grass on here so then I'm going to go to edit terrain one more time create layer 
and I'm going to select and do the grass terrain and this time I'll choose grass uh, hill albedo and so now I'll choose that now remember that you choose it make sure you just click on it and you see the little blue bar uh, uh, underneath it so at that point then I can go ahead and click on it and then it'll paint over it same thing with your brush so I'm gonna do that uh, if you can make you know you can make your brush size really big if you want to increase the opacity also it'll paint more of it in terms of when you're painting your um, with your brush so so it'll make it darker and so on okay or you know again making the brush size smaller and so on so that you can paint in tight areas and that kind of thing all right so Basically, you're going to choose all the different type of brushes. You can make paths. Uh, you know, you can do different things on here. Uh, you can, you know, depending on the type of brush that you use, um, the type of, you know, layers or that you create. So it all depends on what you choose. Okay. So again, those are the different ones you can look for. You can just scroll through here, see if anything that you like. Again, you can make the brushes smaller, change less to the opacity. Say that I want to create a like a path type of thing, and so on. Okay. All right. Um, so now that I've modified my train somewhat. You, what we'll do is we'll also add some grass to this. And again, uh, in order to add grass or trees, we also need to make sure that we've downloaded the standard assets. So we've done that, so we're good to go in that sense. So now I'm going to go and click on the paint trees. And we're going to add the trees. So we're going to click on Edit Trees, Add Tree. And then we're going to click on this little circle and we're going to look for a particular type of tree and let's see over here let's do the palm I'm going to click add now it's ready to uh, we're ready to apply it and notice when i click and drag it it applied it throughout the whole tra uh, train right so need to modify the brush size a little bit tree density Maybe in terms of the random, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. In terms of the tree height, I want to keep it random. So now notice it's a little, more, a little bit more manageable. Okay. Same thing in terms of the grass. And you can add the different type of trees on there. I'm going to click on. Um, so to add the grass, you're going to click on the paint, the little this icon looks like little flowers on there so then we're going to go to edit or edit details add grass texture and then you can change the colors here if you want to make it you know less green so or so it's not as healthier or whatever again we're going to look for a grass and what you're looking for is not maybe an image of the grass, but more or, or not texture of the grass, but more of an image of a grass, sort of like these right here, not this type of uh, grass here. Okay, so I'm going to select something like this here, and then make sure it shows up on here, and then we click Add, and now again make sure it's selected, and then you can play with your brush size in terms of adding on the grass, the opacity, and so on. So notice it comes on real thick at the beginning right there, so I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to change the opacity down a little bit. Still comes on real thick. This time I'm going to change the target strength also. So I may have to really pare this down. That's a little bit better. Change, maybe you may have to type in the number here. Let's see. 
point one. That's better. Target strength, and let's change that to point five. Okay, so not, as you can see, it's getting better in terms of it's not so thick, and you just have to change the, the size on there. Okay. All right, so basically we're, you know, building our terrain, adding grass. Again, you choose a different type of grasses that you want to play, um, uh, use on here. You can also keep in mind, and so that you, your grass is not as thick like this. Also, I made my terrain 60 by 60 by, or 50 by 50 by 60. If you make it a little larger, you won't have to worry about the density uh, so much in terms of that. So maybe you might want to try like 100 by 100 by 100 or something like that. Okay. And then, you know, you uh, make sure, remember to lower the terrain and all that, or flatten the terrain by 50 if you change it to 100. All right, so now um, what I want to do is add the first-person controller. So again, I needed to have loaded the standard package, uh, the standard assets. So I'm going to click on Characters, First-Person, Prefabs. And so now I'm going to start start my um, I'm going to put the first person right in this area. By the way, if I click on the camera here, the main camera, notice that it only sees part of this right here, right? And so right now it doesn't matter so much because we're not going to use that camera, and I'll explain to you in a few minutes. Okay. So I'm going to click and drag my first person right about on top, what it seems to be on top of the terrain. Hopefully it is on top of the terrain. If not, we have to uh, look at that. So now I've put the first person controller. I can change this to player. In my uh, terrain. So it looks like it's on top of the terrain. I can check that out by clicking on opening uh, the player here, the first person controller, and look at my first person character. And as you notice, we can see the terrain a little bit, the preview over there in the camera preview. If we go to our game view, we can also see that preview. That's what the uh, first person character is looking at. So be careful though in terms of changing, rotating, like I want to start this so that it's looking out into my terrain. Now, so I'm not going to ch uh, change the view on the first per person character, I'm gonna change and on the first person controller. So I'm gonna rotate, and I can still see the cone of vision right here, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it so it's looking this way, but remember, I'm not clicking on this. If you accidentally rotate this, reset it to zero, zero, because what can happen is that if you rotate this to look the other way, it may look the other way, but when you use your move keys, it's like the WAS key, W-A-S-D, or the arrow keys, you'll be moving forward, you'll be moving, it'll seem like it's moving backwards because you've rotated the camera or the first person character uh, to look forward, what you think is looking forward, but, and then it'll start moving backwards. <laughs> so um, again, make sure you select the player here and then rotate that. So I'll rotate it using under the rotation in, in my inspector. I can click on here, notice, I can see it rotating. And so no, notice what it look, it looks, should look something like this when you're starting off so that you see the cone of vision looking out into your terrain. And again, I'll click on the first person character and I can see that that's exactly what, uh, how I wanted to set up, okay? All right, so now, pretty much at this point, I can move around my terrain. So if I hit, uh, if I go to my game tab, maximize on play, click on either Control P or uh, Command P, or just click on the play button. There's my terrain, and I can move around my terrain using my WAS key. Here's W. Very deep hole. Don't want to fall in there. I could jump, move backwards using the S key, left, right, look a rope. Right, there we go. 
jump up there, get a, get a good view of my area, and so on. Okay, so it's working in terms of uh, checking out my thread. Now I'm going to go back to my scene, Command P, shortcut or Control P. All right, so I'm back in my scene. So now I want to add some 3D models, right? So as I said before, we could we could go to the Assets Store, and you can search. In this case, we we're going to use uh, bringing a horse in here. And so when we search for horse, uh, we get 425 results. So if you're willing to pay for some of this, that may be what you want to do. Uh, for now, for just demonstration purposes, I just want to uh, download a free one. And I did that already, but I didn't go through the asset store. Uh, by the way, if you uh, open up in browser, also, you can reduce the price to zero and apply. And you can see what if there's anything that's worth downloading and in this case it isn't by the way if you are signed in you you'll have these same options right here in your asset store window okay but for now I'll go ahead and to go to turbo squid And then I'll look for the horse model here. And what I did is I downloaded this horse right here. Okay. Or not actually downloaded. Oh no, wait a minute. Where's my free one? Uh, free. Actually, I downloaded this one. Okay. So you can download that one by clicking on it. You have to sign in an account with it, uh, with them. And basically, what you download is. Here is your uh, object, okay, your 3D model, and here is the texture that goes along with that, all right? So keep in mind you can, uh, uh, for the most part, any uh, um, 3D mo uh, model object that has the extension .obj or .3ds for 3D Studio Max or .fbx uh, or .skp, so any one of those would work in terms of um, bringing it into Unity. All right. Okay, so I'll go ahead and hide that. Now I have, I'm going to go to my asset, assets. I'll create a folder to keep my models in there. And basically to load it, you're just going to select both files click and drag in click and drag them in there and then we're going to go to our scene and then I'm going to click and drag my horse which as you can see it's huge all right so I'm going to change the size on it scale it down to 0 0.1 point 1 point 1 oh still huge Oh, 0.25, 0.25, ah, still kind of big. All right, smaller than that. Let's try 0 0.01, 0 0.01, there we go. Okay. All right, so now there's my horse. Oh, yeah, so I need to add the material to it. So I'm going to add it to there, and now the horse has the material on it. And so now you have a 3D model. Of course, this could be anything uh, in terms of the 3D models. It doesn't have to be a horse, right? Um, so there's my horse. And oh, yeah, I was going to do a lake. So let's add that to that. So now, in to get some water in here, uh, I'm going to look for the environment, and I'm going to go to water, and I'm going to click on water, and prefabs, and I'll start with water pro day. Um, 
what is it? Pro Pro Daytime. Yeah. So I'm gonna click and drag that right there. I'll lower it a little bit. I'm gonna look from the top. I'm gonna hold on the option key, click and drag just so I can see this better from the top view. Maybe lower it a little bit here, like so. And I can always change the size on it if I wanted to using this tool right there. Maybe change it there. Not that it matters, but if you had a smaller hole, you can, you know, obviously make it uh, change the size on there by just clicking and dragging here. Again, in this situation, it doesn't matter too much. So, again, there we go. Oh, let's get rid of this main camera. So, again, we want to, let's see if it gave us this error. It's, you notice there's an error. There are two audio listeners in the scene. That error is, or this warning basically comes because we have a, 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 a two cameras, basically. We have this camera right here, and then on our first-person character, we have that camera. Right, so we don't need two cameras, which carries audio listeners, which is basically listening for some kind of audio within our scene to re respond to or just play. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Right mouse click, delete, and then so I will go into the play mode again, just to check our water. There's our audio that we weren't hearing before. And there is the water. Okay. And there we go. We are done.